Anti-racism organisations come together to organise an event for Euro 2012 fans in Kiev, Ukraine. Most fans report they've not experienced any abuse. Football Unites Racism divides ransom games for various sets of fans as volunteers from Football Against Racism in Europe gave out leaflets promoting UEFA's anti-racism message. Emre Dillagos is the chair of the board of the East European Development Institute. The idea is to bring people together and this is a UEFA project, Respect Diversity. So this is to promote a unity of people, of different people and to say a no to discrimination and racism. So far, according to UEFA, there's only been isolated races chanting during the Netherlands training session last Wednesday in Poland. Before the tournament, the BBC screened a documentary allegedly highlighting racist problems in Ukraine. But Meryn Ahmed, deputy director of Football Unites Racism Divides, says it's all been a good experience. We saw a lot of things on the news, on the panorama, BBC panorama programme. But it's actually been very positive here. You know, we've not felt that anybody's been overtly racist towards us. So we're pleasantly surprised. No fans interviewed said they'd witnessed or suffered any racist abuse during their time in Ukraine, among them Swedish supporter Ibrahim Mohamed. No, so far. I didn't meet anything like that. All Ukrainian people were nice. I've only been here two days, so far so good. Ukraine's foreign ministry has insisted that the racist element in the country is a smaller problem than was shown in the film.